Hi, Joanna Harris here from the Oneness Movement and welcome to Talking with Tom. I am really happy today to be joined by Denise Parker, who is a transformational coach and mentor, and she also runs exclusive events. Denise, welcome to you. Hi, Jo, and thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Great oh, to be here. My absolute pleasure. My absolute pleasure, yes. Um, so to start with Denise, could you tell me a little bit about the work that you do? Um, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Um, you know, the, I suppose really in a nutshell, if I was just to summarize and describe it in one word, I'd say the work that I'm doing is all around magic. And, you know, sometimes when I mention that, I think, oh my goodness, what are people going to think about it? But, you know, it's amazing. And, um, you know, I just love it as well that more and more people are really just resonating with the whole concept of magic and, and what might be possible for them and, and how can they actually have more magic in, in their lives and in their work and in their businesses. So, um, yes, yeah, so, so really that's, that's, that's what it's about. And um, it's about really helping people recognize that we, we all have this innate ability to, to create, you know, we, we are powerful creators. I mean, we procreate to keep the human race going. Um, and we have this natural innate ability to, to create, we're creators. Um, and not only that, but we can create more easily, we can create more effortlessly than we think we can. And we, we do actually, we can actually just create magically. And, you know, when people really start to experience this for themselves, um, you know, the results they get can be amazing. Um, and not only that, they, they just get to live lives that, that are really true for them and that they really love. And, and so for me, that's that lives, their work or for the world at large. That sounds incredible. That sounds really incredible because it is. You know, so, so many of us get stuck in structures that don't serve us and it can be, you know, really disheartening and, and it can bring down. So to know that, you know, there is magic there, there's magic within and it's something we can connect with. That's really, really powerful stuff. Yeah. I mean, some of the people that I've been working with recently, um, you know, I'm as surprised as they are sometimes with, with the results that they get. And it's, it's just amazing. I was, um, you know, I've run a few webinars recently and um and people were getting back in touch with me after those webinars and you know one woman we'd had a couple of coaching sessions and she'd been on a webinar and all of a sudden after after not being able to walk properly for about nine or ten months and having had operations on her feet and everything else she was able she she kept getting in touch with me going i can't believe this but one of my feet is now back to normal and I'd get another text going, I can't believe this, but you know, I'm pretty much 95% there. And, um, you know, somebody else, he got in touch with me and he said, it must be something that we did. He said, but all of a sudden I keep receiving money that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> um, and you know, one woman, she hadn't dared drive. She just completely lost her nerve, wasn't able to drive. And, um, you know, we've just had one session and now she just keeps getting in touch going, I'm still driving and I'm still loving it. Um, and so things like that really, really make my heart sing because it's really relieving a lot of, of suffering and struggling that people have been going through. Um, but as you said at the beginning, this isn't just about fixing problems. This isn't about just solving issues. This is really helping people tap into their abilities to create amazing things as well and I've got you know many more stories that might take a little bit too long to describe <laughs> but you know that's what I describe on my webinars and you know some of them I just have no explanation for you know literally it's just magic yeah. um, you know and ultimately it's it's really about connecting reconnecting people reconnecting people with their hearts the truth and and their own magic as I said before so it's uh, yeah it's, it's amazing. Awesome yeah. So how did you get into this yourself then? Yeah, well, do you know, it's funny because I was, um, somebody else was asking me a while ago and um, it was only then that I remembered that even, even as a child, I, I've always been fascinated by magic. I used to get magic sets for Christmas. I used to love doing little magic tricks for other people. Um, 
and then you know I grew up like lots of us do and I went to university and I studied business and I got a job and I got a career and I worked for about 14 years in the financial sector um, and to be honest there wasn't a lot of magic going on that I remember back then and um, and then at some point or other after about 14 years um, I just I just left. I just took a. I had an opportunity, to be honest, to to leave, and I just stepped out into the unknown. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew that you know I needed to follow that nudge, that whisper, that niggle inside of me. Mm. And and so I went off and I did a bit of travelling. Um, I studied things around psychology and NLP and hypnosis. And, and I set myself up as a, as a coach and a trainer and, and started doing lots of work, um, sometimes with leaders in business and, and sometimes with individuals just on a personal basis. Um, and I just gradually started to evolve and, and learn lots of, different, lots of different methods, lots of different approaches. Um, and I suppose ultimately where I got to was we can learn all these tools. We can have lots of lots of um, yeah, lots of tools in our kit bag, but ultimately it comes down to us when we reconnect with who we really are and with our own innate power and our own truth. Then we're able to create amazing things. Um, and so I came initially. I came across a book called The Magician's Way by somebody we okay. both know. William White Cloud um, and it and the work just resonated so much with what I was starting to do with people anyway um, and so that opened another gateway for me and I've really been studying a lot about magic and alchemy and consciousness um, and after several years now of, of studying that and practicing that that's really what I'm using a lot of with my clients mm -hmm. And, um, and funnily enough, before I came across and really started to talk about magic in the work that I'm doing, I was out at a restaurant having dinner with some friends uh, three or four years ago now. And somebody around the table started saying, so they were asking each people, each person around the table, so if you weren't doing what you do for work, what would you do instead? And, you know, people were coming up with different ideas. Um, and it came around to me and they said, so if you weren't doing what you're doing, and at the time I was doing a lot of leadership coaching and training, they said, if you weren't doing what you were doing, what would you do instead? And without hesitation, I just heard myself saying, I'd be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it's funny, isn't it? We can go full circle or maybe it's less about full circle. It's when there's something that's true for us, when there's something that our heart would really love to do somehow or other when we follow the path and follow the signs then then we do get there yeah and it sounds like you've you've reconnected yourself with the with the essence of, of what you know is true for you you know you've, you've spoken about webinars you've spoken a little bit about coaching as well how how do you um bring this concept of, of magic to your clients the majority of the people that seem to be working with me do tend to be women in business and um, women who, women who either are just feeling a bit stuck and frustrated because they know they're not where they want to be, but they don't know how to get there, or you know they're just experiencing the same old things, just keep repeating and repeating. Um, or maybe sometimes it's women who they're just they're just at that point where they're just feeling a bit a bit disappointed. It's not that anything's particularly wrong, but they know that there could be more and maybe they've settled for something that wasn't really quite true for what they wanted. Or it's, you know, it's also people who are just, you know, they know that they're creators. They know there are things they love to create, but sometimes it can be hard work or, or sometimes they know that they're procrastinating. And so it's really helping people like that who would just love to create something, whether it's for themselves or something bigger in the world um, to really help them get clarity about what it is they really want to create um, and help them recognize what might get in the way and aspects of themselves that might get in the way um, and then just really give them the tools to help them create that more effortlessly 
um, more magically and, and really live their lives from their creative self rather than from the limited perspective of who they are. So what would you say then is, is your particular niche skill in what you can help people with? Is there something that you find that you're um, you know, really, really passionate about that, that just you know, works every time for you? Or is there something that you do that is called Denise? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, I mean, I suppose one one thing is um, the way I the way I love to work with people is yes, helping them see what can be stopping them, what can be getting in their way, but really, really helping people to see and recognise and appreciate the you know the wholeness of who they are and and the real magic and the real talent that they have, um, and so doing that in a really a really powerful way but a way that's light and and fun and and sometimes gentle as well so it's so it's powerful and it can be deep but it's also light and safe and, and gentle and, and powerful too um, and another thing that i i really seem to be to draw i'm, I'm drawn to do and um, and seems to come up a lot is it's really helping people, largely women, but, but men as well, actually, to really recognize the power of, of the feminine energy. And, you know, it's not a gender thing. There's a lot of talk in the media, isn't it, these days about gender issues and the Me Too campaign and all of that, which, you know, which is really important. Um, but for all of us, I think it's really powerful to connect with with the feminine energy within us as well as the masculine um, and really get a balance with those two and so many people particularly in business and particularly when we've got a lot of pressures on we just rely on what we know we rely on trying to make stuff happen and pushing and putting in effort and and that's very much a masculine approach and a traditional approach to to getting results um, whereas when we can combine that with the more feminine energy, which is around, which is around letting go a little bit and and not needing to figure everything out and and allowing things to emerge more effortlessly, then then that's when we let the inspiration and and the intuition come through, and that's when we get to create more than we thought was possible, um, because we go beyond what we think is possible. Um, and that really does open up all sorts of new possibilities for people, for, for businesses and, and for, yeah, for, for all sorts of us, really. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's, 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 what I, that's what I love doing, too. That's, that's incredible. And, and you're right, you know, like society expects us to perform and achieve and, and it can be a very, um, not necessarily male dominated, as you said, but, but very masculine approach. So it sounds like, you know, with the, with the magic that you're able to create and these these techniques and structures that you have, you know, there, there's a real sense of connection in the work that you do. So, you know, you're here today interviewing with the oneness movement. Mm -hmm. I'd like to hear about what oneness means to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's so important, isn't it? Um, to me, oneness is on a number of different levels. So, you know, to begin with, perhaps oneness is around for each of us feeling connected, being one with who we are, um, not living from our heads, but really being connected and being one and being in connection with our hearts, with our bodies, with our souls, even, um, and re really, really being in alignment. And then oneness is around being one and connected with. You know what's beyond us so being one and connected with other people with their hearts with nature with the planet with the, with the world at large really and really having a sense that you know we are connected we're not all separate beings we don't survive on our own as separate beings we're all part of the same thing um, and that opens up all sorts of magical opportunities um, and it's it's just so important and then also bringing all the parts of us together as one sometimes we live a fragmented life and uh, it's really about recognizing that actually we're whole and complete as we are and uh, yeah living from there 
Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Denise. And, and thank you very much for, for being uh, with the Oneness Movement today and for interviewing with us.